Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be adding sounds to our game and then using code to randomize those sounds and then to make the sounds play from the left side or the right side depending on where our zombies located on the screen. So if we go ahead and like shoot our zombie over on the right, we want the sound to play from like the right headphone and if it's on the left it'll be from the left side. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to do actually is fix a little bit of a bug we have right now in our code. So you notice when zombies spawn, they spawn either completely off the screen and it takes us a while for the zombie to show up or they spawn right next to us on the left, which is not quite what we wanted. I wanted to spawn them either like right here or right here. They should always be on the screen and they should never be right next to me. And the reason that's happening is just because I forgot to set zombie exposition to zero right when we first create the clone. Uh, if I do that, then the zombies spawn uh, correctly right on the sides of the screen, which is what we wanted to happen. So now onto the sound design. I have a bunch of sounds that I imported from this game and I really have no idea where I got them from originally. So one thing you, that's useful you can do in Scratch those, if you have some assets that you like in somebody else's project, you can always go ahead and get them into your own project. So you're welcome to find your own sound effects for this if you want, uh, but if you want to use mine, you can always go to my project. I have it linked in the description of the video and you can uh, clone it or see inside it. And then what you should be able to do once the project loads is get into my uh, characters and get sounds for them. So if we go to Adventure Girl here, we can go to her sounds and I'm gonna go ahead and you can export uh, the different sounds you want. So we're gonna take bang, we're gonna take whoosh, we're going to take female death sound and we're gonna take dry fire. And so now those are gonna export, when those export, they're gonna download as WAV files to your downloads folder. And so we'll get those back in our game in just a second here. Uh, I'm also gonna go over to zombie here and I'm gonna grab the zombie uh, the zombie moan, the zombie attack, the zombie death, and the coin collect from uh, the zombie sprite. And then everything else I believe is default is a default sound from scratch. So that's all we should need from this project. So now once we're back in our project, let's go ahead and get started on the zombies sound effects. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is go to sounds and go ahead and upload uh, all of these sounds that we just found for the zombie. So if we go to our downloads folder, uh, we wanted the coin collect, zombie death, zombie attack, and zombie moan, and you can open them all at once and it'll import all those sounds. You can play them here and see what they sound like. So the first sound I want to work with is the zombie moan, and if you play the zombie moan, it sounds like that. And I just want that sound to play sort of randomly if the zombie is alive. Uh, and so to do that, I'm going to go into my code here. And inside this forever loop, if the zombie is alive, if their health is greater than zero, I'm going to throw in an if statement. And the if statement is going to say, and, and we're going to use this if statement to randomly choose if we're going to play a sound. And so uh, what we can do, if, if you want a sound to like randomly play like a, a, about like every four seconds, for instance, what you would do is you grab this equals thing, and then we can uh, pick a random number between one and 120. So let me explain something real quick of why we're doing this. Our game plays at 30 frames a second, which means this code runs 30 times a second at, at its fastest. And so in order to play a sound about once every four seconds on average, you would multiply 30 times four for how many seconds you want. And that's the, that's the number. So I, if I say pick a random number between one and 120, and I say if it's equal to one, then that should ab about once every four seconds, that should trigger the sound effect. So if we say if uh, we pick a number between one and 120 equals one, then we will play the sound. We will start sound... Uh, zombie moan and so now when i start this game we should sometimes there we go we should sometimes hear zombie moans so if that's happening too often so i think this is happening a little bit too often i'm gonna i'm gonna change this a little bit i think that's much too frequent let's change it to 240 let's see if that is a little better anyways you guys can play around with it and see if you can find a number you like uh, i'm probably gonna split the difference i'm probably gonna go with about uh, 180 and, and stick with that for now. The next thing I want to do is play a sound for the zombie death, and that one should be pretty easy for us to find. It's right here is where we start switching their costumes to the death animation. So right when the death animation starts, we will use start sound, and we will do zombie death one. Uh, by the way, it's very important that I'm using start sound and not play sound until done. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what play sound until done, will play it and stop all of your other code from running, whereas start sound just starts the sound and then it continues on with the code. So if I put play sound until done, the whole game would pause while it plays played the sound, which is not what we want. So now let's see if I kill a zombie. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. 
The next thing I want to do is add in a sound effect for when the zombies are damaged. And so whenever I take damage from either a bullet or a melee, uh, what I want to do is I want to play that uh, zombie death sound. Or, nope, sorry, the zombie attack sound. This one. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to go over to my start sounds, and we're going to say start sound zombie attacked one. And we'll do that again under the melee box. So anytime they're attacked, whenever they take some time to damage, uh, they should play a sound. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> so now that we have our zombie sounds, I want to go over into Adventure Girl and add some of her sounds. So we can go over to her sounds here and go ahead and upload sounds. And we can choose our uh, these four sounds. Now to add in her sound effects, her sound effects, the first one we're going to do is bang for when she shoots her gun. So let's find where we shoot gun. So if we're, it's right here, it's if mouse down, we switch to costume and do all this stuff. So right when we start this, we should probably also play the bang sound. So start sound, bang, right at the beginning. We can run this real quick. Perfect. Um, sounding a lot better already. And then the next thing we want is whoosh for her melee. So we'll go ahead and find where her melee starts right here. And we will grab start sound. Uh, swoosh. <laughs> Perfect. So the last thing I want to add in here is her death sound effect, the female death sound. And so we can go ahead and put that right when her health is, whenever her health gets to less than one. So we can put that right here at the very beginning. And so now when we play this, <laughs> kill zombies, we have their sound effects. But if we die ourselves to a zombie, we get the adventure girl death sound effect. The other sounds I want to add real quick are our um, sound effect, our soundtracks, um, and so those are all just scratch default ones. So if you go ahead in here and you and you look up a sound, the ones I used were mystery, um, and I also used I also used uh, reggae, and I also used uh, video game two, I think, video game this one. All right. And I definitely did not use pop. We'll get rid of that. And so then for now, eventually these these sound effects, the background music will change depending on if we're in the welcome screen of the game versus if we're playing the game versus if we're uh, in the shop or menu. But for now, I'm just gonna pick one of them. So we'll say forever, we will play video game two until done. And then actually, no, this is not the background music. So now when I play the game, it starts to actually sound like a real game. Which is very exciting. Now I'm going to take this out because I, it's very hard for me to talk when this over the background music playing. It's quite loud. Finally, what I want to do is I want to have the, the... I don't like that these zombies will all sound the same. I want different zombies to sound different from each other. I want there to be a chance for them to sound different. So the way I can control that, or one of the ways I can control that, is by setting their pitch to uh, different things. Pitch is sort of like how low or high the sound plays. So if I do something like, if I grab this play zombie moan sound, and I set pitch to 100, and play it, it sounds like that, but if I set pitch to like 200 for instance, you get a much higher version of the sound. And so what I'm going to do is I want this to set somewhat randomly so that our, all our zombies sound a little different. So I'm going to pick uh, between, let's say, uh, 50 and uh, 150 maybe for our pitches. And then we can set that pitch just right when we create the clone, we can go ahead and also set the pitch for the zombie. And so now our zombie pitches should be a little bit random. If we restart it, we should get uh, different sounding pitches. See? That one's totally different from the last one. And then the last thing I want to do is I want the sound to play on the left versus on the right headphone. So if we like shoot the zombie over here on the right, I want the sound to play on your right headphone so you hear it more from the right than from the left, which will give our, us a really cool like 3D sounding effect of like the zombie's location actually changes where the audio is played, which is very cool. So to do that, we can use this effect called uh, uh, pan. So we can set uh, pan left right. And the way pan left right works is if it's a negative number, it plays on the left. If it's positive, it plays on the right. So if I go ahead and grab a uh, pan left to 100%, <laughs> you should have heard that play all the way on your left headphone. And if I do pan 100% to right, you should hear that all the way on your right headphone and not at all on your left. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this change based on our zombie's location. And if you, oh, and if you have it as zero, um, then it plays right in the center, just like normal. Um, and so, and so, like a number like fifty would be—it's playing partly on the left. Uh, it's playing more on the left, but somewhat on the right too. 
And so what we can use this to do is represent how close the zombie is to us. So the closer they are to us, the more we want that, that sound to be centered. And the further they are to the left or the right, the more we want the sound to be to the left or the right. So doing that's not super difficult. All we need to do is take the zombie's position, their X position on the screen, and we just want to divide it by two because the zombie's X position can be between, uh, because the zombie's X position can be all the way up to like negative 200 out here on X, um, we want to we want to divide it in half so it's in that like 100 to negative 100 range. So we'll take their position, we'll divide it by two, and we'll set their pan left right to to that. Okay, so I'm running into a little bit of a bug here. Just one of the many quirks of Scratch. If I actually, what I should be able to do is just place this set pan left right into our forever loop here, um, and then it would just update the sound to pan the pan left right ratio as you sort of play the game. But whenever I do that, for some reason, you'll notice the zombie starts moving really weirdly against our background. Um, I don't have any clue why that's happening, but I've discovered that I can fix it just by taking it out and putting it in its own uh, forever loop, which is fine as a solution. I couldn't tell you why that's happening. If anybody knows, uh, uh, I'd, I'd love to hear the answer. I have no clue why it's doing that, but putting it in its own little forever loop out here uh, does seem to work just fine. And so now when we shoot a zombie way over on the right, it should be playing on your on the right side of your of your headphones. And if we get one on the left, let's spawn one in. We should be playing way over on the left side of your headphones. All right, so now that that works, uh, that's all I got for today. This is a pretty easy one. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be talking about creating uh, a welcome screen and, and different game states. Because right now, when we start our game, we're always playing the game. Uh, I want to have a welcome screen that has like a start button, and then we're also later going to need to add in a shop. So we're going to talk about how to create those like separate game states in the next video.